Hi, my name is David Castillo. This is my second video I put up on YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a colored portrait of Jesus. Um, you can see right here I'm starting on the neck um, using just some some warm tones, uh, very dark ones. I think I'm using like a deep red mixed with like a army green or something. Um, just getting in, just getting that in there and uh, making sure that it's going to have plenty of value by the time we're uh, done with this piece. So making sure that it's very dark. See, I'm kind of fading around for have a little bit of a lighter tone here. You can see, looks like I probably picked up a little bit of peach to mix in. I might darken that up a little bit in a minute. Looks like I threw a little bit more deep red in there. See, see me darkening, fading into it a little bit more. Um, kind of just layering it, you know. I uh, just want to put down that lighter color and then fade into it, um, mix the colors together. Make sure that it's nice and smooth by the time I'm done with it. Almost right there, working like a painting, just doing the background first and then going back into it. You can see right there, fading into, uh, I think I'm going to have some earth tones down there. It looks like I mixed in a little bit of a, a flesh tone. Um, probably flesh from Eternal. Um, you know, darkening that up. Yeah, at this point, you know, when you're looking at this video, you're probably thinking, "What the heck is going on?" But just give it a give it a view. I know that's what I was thinking when I was when I was doing it, you know. But you just got to keep going with it and make your decisions and stick with them. Uh, make sure that you stay consistent throughout the tattoo, because you change it up after the ink's already there, it's gonna just look retarded. So uh, just make your decision, and keep at it. You see fading out a tiny bit into the uh, darkening up. I'm giving it like a very hard line right here at the top. I want it to be a very prominent shadow right here. Uh, and then just kind of the dark, like just kind of fade out. The shadow fade out a little bit at the bottom. Um, you know, just more loose at the bottom. Uh, so it fades into the flesh tone real good. So you can see I'm working on, it looks like, side of the neck right here on the flesh tone where the shadow isn't. Um, Looks like just working with a little bit of flesh tone. Maybe a little bit of flesh pot look like mix in there. Basically just trying to have that uh that value hold up over time to where you know you look at this when it's done, uh you know, I just wanted to kinda of bring it to life. Um not not just as far as saturation of the ink and the skin goes, but uh, just um, just the color usage of I just wanted it to be uh, just extremely vibrant. And like I said, just alive. Um, have lots of like really warm tones in there, so that way it you know it just comes to life. So I'm probably going to be moving on to the shirt pretty soon. There you go. Um, just throwing some gray in here. So I don't lose this part. Uh, you, you're gonna see. I, I, I don't really stay away from doing light colors right away because uh, you know I'm running my machine pretty slow. So I'm just trying to just trying to get it all done, kind of piece by piece. Um, you know, and you don't necessarily have to work like that. I mean, people work lots of different ways. Um, this is just something that works for me that uh, I found worked for me. Um, and I found that you know it. It's a little bit more gentle on people as well, you know, you don't want to be working on them in one spot for, you know, who knows, like two hours and switch it up to another spot and then go back and forth, you know, um, unless you're doing pretty small touch-ups. Um, or at least I found it's best not to do that because, like I said, it's just people get too tender and, you know, you just want to make sure that you can finish a piece like this if possible. So you can see I'm moving in, uh, I think I'm mixing some brown in with some army green, looks like, something like that. Um, same same green that I mixed into the red to darken it up a bit, um, but this time, you know, I'm using brown uh, to just get completely different tone and, uh, you know, a unique, a unique tone, you know, to where it doesn't look like every other tattoo out there, you know, uh, 
I found it's better to, for me to tattoo like I'm painting because it gives it a more unique look and kind of differentiates my work a lot. Um, so I've been trying to do a lot of that actually. Um, people respond to it a lot more actually. Um, so I mean, you know, if you if you you know pretty good at uh, mixing colors and paint, um, give it a shot if you haven't already. And if you have, then you know, good job. So you can see him, you know, working with a little bit more brown in there than the the green. You know, just uh, sticking with that same brown so that way, you know, it goes together nice and smooth. You know, you don't want to throw colors together that are too different. Otherwise, it's just going to, you know, it won't, it won't match up right. It won't come to life like you want it to. You know, it has to look like it matches, like it goes together. So you can see I'm just uh, doing a tiny bit of texturing and like a little bit like a, of a lock look that I saw in there. Um, it's a little bit shaky right now, it looks like. Uh, I think this is when uh, one of the guys at the shop here was actually holding it at this point. Uh, his hands are getting a bit shaky. So, uh, I think we're going to throw it up on a tripod in a little while and you will not have all of the shakiness like this. So, you'll be able to see it a lot better. Um, it's all basic stuff that you've already seen with the, the beard though. You know, I'm just throwing in greens up here. Now in the second video, uh, we have it open the tripod, the, the entire video. Um, you're going to see a lot more of the tattoo get done on the second second video. Um, so it'll probably be overall much better experience. Uh, but I, you know, I didn't want to leave out the first half of the tattoo, so uh, we threw this on as well. You can see I'm still working on the beard. Um, throwing in the army green and the probably like chocolate brown. Uh, I think there are a couple of new colors from Intense, actually, um, but I like them. They're kind of, you know, a little bit different. Still working on the beard up here. You know, and this is actually um, something I was a little bit excited to do right here, uh, which is why I made the video of it. Um, kind of a a chance to really try something. Uh, something a little bit different than you know what I generally do so um, I was pretty excited to do it um, when the customer came in asking for it I uh, wanted to make sure that I got this video to show all of you so you can see I'm almost done with the chocolate brown and the army green here Looks like fading out a little bit more. Uh, I think after this, I might be moving on to the to the lips. Yeah, this pattern. Uh, you know, you could pretty much do the patterns however you want. Uh. You can see I kind of did a little bit of both, filled in a little bit of solid, uh, just a couple lines here and there. Um, I don't want to take too much time on the pattern because uh, it was already about two when the customer came in, and you know I don't want to stay too late. I think it took us about like six hours, so um, you know just wanted to make sure that uh, we had enough time to to finish everything, make it look good. You can see I'm messing with the lip up here, making sure I'm leaving uh, some spots to put some white highlights, uh, maybe a little bit of dark tone you can see next to some of the white that I'm gonna be putting in, just to kind of a uh, bring it out a little bit further, you know, make the white a little bit more dominant when uh, when I'm done with it. Um, just for the sake of the tattoo, really. Um, I'm like I said, it just kind of brings it to life a little bit more. You can see a lot of the times I'll go with the lighter color and then layer over it. Uh, gives it a little bit more, uh, you know, depth, a little bit better saturation when you can saturate it first. Uh, as long as the skin isn't completely torn up or, you know, as long as it's still fresh, you know, you get a little bit more play with it. Um, looks like I moved on from the lips now. Just going to a little bit of maybe like auburn or something. Uh, I think it's another new color from Intense. Something like that. Um, it was in like their earth tone set that I got, so... Um, I think I might have mixed a little bit of the chocolate brown in it as well. 
you know, just to kind of make sure that the colors match. I'm just working in, you see the same areas, just to, just to work on a little bit of the saturation. Not, you can see what I'm lining in right here on the eyes. I think I'm using like five rounds on um, th For the rest of everything else I've done so far, I think I was using a 13. Um, I think I was using my Hawk though. Um, for the first half, I'm using Stigma right now, uh, the Hyper 2. Um, I prefer Rotary, it's a little bit smoother for me. Um, you know, you do all the same stuff with coil machines though. It doesn't Generally, I like to stay away from using black, but uh, I just wanted the eyes to be just extremely dominant. Uh, usually I might have used like a really deep purple, um, maybe with like a little bit of brown or something. Um, just kind of mix the deep purple just to kind of uh, kind of match with the brown a little bit, um, bring the two colors together. Um, but you know on this piece I, I just wanted them to be a little bit more dominant so I just went ahead and went with black on the top over there. Um, you can see I put some, some brown on the bottom. And, such a little bit of black right there in the bottom of the nose, uh, in the nostril. Um, you can see I'm I'm gonna stick with the shader for the, sh I mean my liner um, for the bottom of the nose right here. It's actually it's running pretty smooth, um, pretty low. So you know it's not gonna be really torn up or anything. I'm just kind of uh, trying to get the little detail around the nostril right there. So um, you know I think. I just felt that the 13 is a little bit too big for uh, for the bottom of the nose right there, so that's why I just decided to stick with the liner. Um, you'll see me. I'll, I'll, I'll go back to the to my 13 mag in, in a little while. I just wanted that to be, you know, a little bit tighter, not so loose looking. Um, pretty much what I was going for with the uh, with the eyes and the nose. That's why I use black on the eyes. You know, I wanted it to be, you know, nice and tight looking. You know, and, and and you can do it. Some people might have used like a seven or something, but I just really prefer to uh, to stay with uh, with the liner for all this. You can see a little bit above the eye. In my last video, I had a little bit of music in there. Uh, unfortunately, you couldn't really do that to, uh, this time because since it's copyrighted, they block it in certain countries, and, and I don't want to have to deal with any of that. So now you can see right here, I'm just doing. Just uh, little tiny spots. Just make sure that I'm good till I switch to uh, switch to my uh, my shader. Um, putting a little bit of detail in the eyes now. I just want to get them in there before I lost the pattern or anything like that. Um, you'll see pretty soon. I'm jumping kind of like in the middle of the tattoo. Uh, you know, again, like I said, you, you could go right to left or, you know, have whatever makes you comfortable. Um, I just felt for me it was, a uh, it'd go a little bit faster, a little bit smoother if I start um, in some of the dark. Yeah, um, what I'm throwing in the eyes is actually some of the same colors that I used in the beard. Um, just, you know, not really mixed in with any greens or anything. You see right here, I'm just, uh, Putting some deep green into the eyelashes or eyebrows, rather. Um, you'll see I'll lighten them up a little bit in a minute. Like I said, I just want them to be dominant. I don't want you to lose them because this beard's real dark anyway. No point in having a blonde eyelashes or something stupid. And you know, if you're watching this, be sure to check out the second video so you can see the second product. Um, you know, and if you like it, you're free to comment, click like, whatever. Um, you know, it's all appreciated. Um, contact me if you'd like any work done. You can see right here, um, I'm kind of switching it up a little bit. You know, I didn't want too much red into the piece. Um, so right there, I'm, you know, there's going to be, I'm still going to throw some red in here, but just not as much. You'll see. 